ये दरवाजा सर आई थिंक इट्स ऑलमोस्ट टाइम अब हम स्टार्ट करते हैं सर चल है प्रोसेस सर ओके सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू ऑल डॉक्टर केशव यस सर हां पहले विक्की आपको इंट्रोड्यूस करेंगे एंड देन ओके 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 सर ओके सर मैं स्टार्ट करूं सर ओके ओके सर थैंक यू सो मच वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून टू ऑल यू बैक ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ एस आई टी फार्मेसी एंड सेज ग्रुप टू दिस वन वीक ए आई सी टी स्पॉन्सर्ड शॉर्ट टर्म ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम एंड नाउ वी विल प्रोसीड टू वर्ड्स लेक्चर नंबर थ्री टू दिस डे थ्री which will be conducted by dr keshav kumar singh sir so before proceeding forward i would like to introduce all our participants with our speaker for today dr keshav kumar singh sir sir has done his mbbs from gmc hamidia hospital bhopal sir is a doctor by profession for sure and participated in many conferences as a speaker sir is also serving as a motivational speaker and has motivated the upcoming future of our country that is our students which are studying in various schools sir has given various motivational lectures in school platforms and it's great honor to see that sir is a third ranker in mp12 board examinations sir has also cracked his aibnt with about air rank of 800 that's a great achievement for you sir sir is also a member of student council at gmc Keshav sir has given various speeches in different platforms on topics related to motivation it's your life transform yourself and various others uh, i once again on behalf of the sage group and srt pharmacy welcome you sir to this aict sponsored short term training program uh, now sir i hand over the audience to you okay thank you uh, thank you so much vicky and it is my pleasure to uh, i to be with you all and, and i thank the sage group who has given me this golden opportunity to be here now as uh, as vicky has introduced me now i will be starting my lecture right now so my first question to all the participants is that uh, what are your views what are your understanding about karma how you deal with karma you can just simply write in the chat box uh, what do you mean by karma as as per your uh, views uh, means how you know about karma and uh, what are your perception towards uh, your actions your deeds just let me know so that i can enhance that you can simply write in the chat chat box so that okay our duty and responsibility yes very good anyone has what is karma as per you aap kya samajhte hain karma kya hai and kya hote hain karma you have to pay your comfort yeah yeah it it very nice very nice anybody is what we do yes exactly right so yes yes 
so i think i have to start my lecture now uh, you have a very good understanding of your karmas okay now we will go into the real mystery of karma now how you are perceiving things and how the things are going in your life should totally change when you understand this mystery of karma okay 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 thank you karma is the duty okay very good very good now i now i just want to make you understand this karma means your actions your deeds whatever you are doing whatever you are thinking even thinking is the small process of thinking small process of your uh, breathing activity is also your karma now what is happening is um, these things maximum amount of your karmas are actually you are doing unconsciously you are not conscious about your karmas means whenever you get up early in the morning since uh, uh, from that time to the time when you go to the bed jab aap subah uthte hain jab aap shaam ko sote hain us beech mein aapne har ek chhan in every moment of your life you have actually done a karma but some karmas you have done consciously and some karma you have done unconsciously so the result of every karma has to be there means every reaction has a equal and opposite every action has an equal and opposite reaction so if you have done a karma yes yes sir okay uh, if if you have done a karma it ha- the result has to be there okay so uh, so let me talk uh, more in detail that how can you benefit from this karma means when you do a karma karma means action first you think about that karma jab bhi aap koi kriya karte hain karma karte hain action karte hain uske bare mein aapke man mein vichar aaya first we have a thought process in our mind that we have to do something for example if you want to drive from bhopal to delhi at night you have a thought that i have to drive from bhopal to delhi okay so the first step in this thing is thought process thought process so thought process has to be there now once there is a thinking then the second step is there that is our actions okay now when we do our actions there must be some result in it in it so after doing our actions we have a result so karma ke baad uska impression ya uska result hame dekhne ko milega jaise ki aap delhi bhopal se delhi gaye aur ek aapne karm kiya aur aap delhi pahunch gaye pahunchna is a result so the three steps are there first is your thinking process about your karma second thing is your your karma your actual action and third is the your impression or result of the action okay so you may ask me why i am interested in this okay i am very much interested in this because you have to be focus on these steps these step can transform your life actually but knowingly or unknowingly what you are what we are doing we are doing it unconsciously for example first step one is your thought second is your action third is the impression or result of your thought and this impression or result in turn generate a thought okay so the cycle continues one uh, once we have an action uh, a thought a action a result and that result in turn generate a thought and that thought in turn generate an action and this cycle goes on and on and on okay now i want to ask a simple question to all of you what you want in your life what you want in your life why are you so busy in your life why are you so hectic in your life why are you loading so much of uh, different uh, stuff in your mind what is the necessity what is your goal uh, can anybody answer what is your goal just simple uh, just simply type in the chat chat box 
what is your goal in your life what you want just simply type in the chat box what you want in your life yeah to be happy okay okay very good to become successful to be happy okay 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 thank you as peace health and happiness okay now pleasantness can i can i say this pleasantness pleasantness means peace compassion love happiness if i conclude all these things in a simple term pleasant life pleasantness within us pleasantness outside us okay okay stable life all we can ah pleasant life or all, all these things can be compiled in a single word pleasantness if i have if i have to use a single word okay for easiness so that you can understand well now pleasantness how uh, pleasantness is the ultimate aim okay now what happen so we are doing so we are doing our uh, i request all, all of you to please mute your screens uh, so pleasantness within us and pleasantness outside so everybody is doing your karma because to get pleasantness okay everybody has a aim in your life aapke kuch laksh hain to is baat ka zarur dhyan rakhe ki aapko karma to karne hi honge your actions has to be there to achieve your goals okay so i have made you understand the three steps if you focus your thinking your actions and your impressions these three steps are there but what is in your control your in your control step 1 is in your control what you think is in your control second thing what you do is in your control okay but the third step is not in your control the results and the impressions of your karmas are not in your control so what is in your control you must focus on this okay when your thinking process your body actions your your energies okay these three things go in one direction and in one vibration it has to happen right now what is happening with most of the uh, people that they are thinking something as they are doing something as and they want something as these three things are haphazardly distributed hum kar kya rahe hain ki hum soch kuch rahe hain din bhar mein hum kar kuch rahe hain din bhar mein aur hum chahte kuch aur hain din bhar mein samajh rahe for example main aapko ek story sunata hu i want to tell you a story a man is there that man is so much tired wo bahut thak chuka tha and he wandered all around and he sees a trees a tree is there which is very huge a banyan tree ek kalp ek aapka bargat ka vriksh tha he just go there and he sits beneath the tree okay now now what when he want rest he rested and he says to himself that well rested so he thought about that he want something to eat once he thought about something to eat that food which he thought jo usne socha tha jo food usne man mein socha tha wo food uske samne tha now now oh, he is very much happy that whatever he is thinking that thing is coming in front of him automatically jo bhi wo soch raha hai wo ho raha hai then he thought about the about something to drink he want something to drink to usne kya kiya wo us jo bhi sharbat ya jo bhi drink karne ke liye wo soch raha tha wo uske bare mein socha that thing come in front of him now he is so much worried what is happening this whatever he is thinking that thing is coming in front of it is there any miracle is there any uh, what we can say kala jadu is there is anything uh, abnormal so he started his thinking from positive things towards negative thing what he has done he has not controlled his thinking process he has just shifted from his positive attitude of food and drinks towards negative attitude is there any ghost here once he once he thought about ghost ghost came 
okay a ghost has came and once he started about death death has done so from this story i just want to tell you that he is actually sitting under the kalpavraksha a wishing tree can you understand a wishing tree is there now usse khud nahi malum tha ki main wishing tree mein hu you can understand this hum sab wishing tree hai we all are actually kalpavraksha what we think can happen in our life but the prerequisite is that we have to control we have to uh, focus on our thoughts what we are thinking actually because every action has to be preceded by the thoughts and thinking process that is why people are joining meditation classes that is why people are uh, people want guidance from various gurus that, that is why people have uh, people need teachers okay so these things are very much important for you to focus on your thoughts now every human being has the capability to become kalpavraksha or wishing tree but the necessity thing is the the prerequisite requisite is that he has to focus on his thought the thought process which is undergoing in his mind jo uske man mein chal raha hai wo usko control mein hona chahiye now ab aap prashna pooch sakte hain कि ये कैसे हम कंट्रोल में कर सकते हैं चीजें हम कैसे अपनी थिंकिंग प्रोसेस और थॉट प्रोसेस को अपने अपने कंट्रोल में कर सकते हैं कुछ आपको आइडिया है मैं आई कैन आस्क क्वेश्चन हाउ व्हाट आर द टूल्स फॉर यू कैन जस्ट राइट इन द चैट बॉक्स व्हाट आर द टूल्स टू सो दैट वी कैन वी कैन कंट्रोल अवर थॉट यू जस्ट हैव टू राइट इन द चैट बॉक्स anyone interested in answering my question yeah very good arvind ji by meditation yeah 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 meditation is a very good tool so that you can control your thoughts positivity positivity is actually uh, it is very good but it is actually a result of your thought process yes mental stability re- regular breathing exercise meditation yeah yeah, yeah very good very good Med- meditation practices yeah very good very good so nice so i just want to tell you that these tools actually help you to control your thought process understand so you can you can get help from your meditation teacher you can get help from your uh, very various books you read various books actually what you choose in your life aap kis tool ka chayan karte hain is baat pe nirbhar hoga ki aapki thought process kya honge maan maan lijiye if you choose meditation so you will be grow grown up spiritually if you choose books and you read books for focusing yourself the story the type of story that you read will decide where you will go understand so i have i have uh, Uh, given you uh, so uh, i have given you the main uh, concept how you can uh, control your thought and how the thoughts actually helps you uh, i just want to make it clear that the pre- ppt presentation i will be uh, showing you in the last of my lecture by compiling all these things mainly the laws of the karma okay so you can understand this whatever you want what whatever in you want in your life you can achieve by the values and by controlling your actions even thinking is an action so i just want to want you to focus on your karmas i just want you to focus on your actions now i i am uh, taking you towards the laws of the karma how you can how you can actually make your livelihood very good how you can make you yourself very much uh, uh, friendly by by following these laws so the first law the great law you must understand this and you must remember this the first law is the great law what does great law means ye mahan law pehla niyam kya hai 
कर्म के बारह नियम है ये बारह नियम में से जो पहला नियम है द फर्स्ट लॉ द ग्रेट लॉ आई एम रिपीटिंग अगेन अगेन सो डेट इट गॉट स्टिक इन यूर माइंड एंड यू कैन गेट अ गुड बेनिफिट फ्रॉम इट द ग्रेट लॉ सी इज डेट फॉर एग्जाम्पल टू रिसीव हैपीनेस पीस लव एंड फ्रेंडशिप आई एम जस्ट टेक इन एग्जाम्पल दीज आर द बेसिक रिक्वायरमेंट डेट अूमन बींग हैज टू रिसीव हैपीनेस पीस लव एंड फ्रेंडशिप वन मस्ट बी हैप्पी पीसफुल लविंग एंड अ ट्रू फ्रेंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट लॉ द ग्रेट लॉ वॉट एवर यू वॉन्ट वॉट एवर यू वॉन्ट इन यूर लाइफ यू हैव टू गेट दो क्वालिटीज इन टू यूर सेल्फ जो भी आप सामने वाले से मंशा या आकांक्षा रखते हैं वो चीजें आपके भीतर होनी चाहिए दिस इज द फर्स्ट ग्रेट लॉ ओके यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दिस वॉट एवर ह्यूमन बींग हैज अचीव इन दिस अर्थ इस पृथ्वी पे जो भी चीजें वर्तमान में है ये चीजें भूतकाल में मनुष्य ने सोची थी He has thought about this that there must be something so that we can uh, sit in this room and we can uh, communicate with other people. So now we have Zoom app. Okay, Zoom app कैसे आया? अब Zoom app आया है तो उसके पीछे पहले thought process आई है कि we need something so that the livelihood of the people got very much uh, easy. They can join. They can दे कैन टॉक इन द घर में रहकर ही हम बात कर सकते हैं सो फर्स्ट इज द थॉट एवरी थिंग डेट हैज बीन इन द अर्थ फर्स्ट इट कम इन द ह्यूमन माइंड डेन ह्यूमन माइंड आपके मस्तिष्क में आपके शरीर में ह्यूमन एक्शन हैज द एबिलिटी टू कन्वर्ट डेट थॉट इन टू रियलिटी सो द प्रोसेस ऑफ योर एक्शन टू रियलिटी दिस होल प्रोसेस need to be focused your consciousness how with the help of meditation with the help of positivity why these things are important uh, people are saying that i meditate why are you meditating you must be clear about your aim what are your goals in your life everybody has goal a doctor want to become a good doctor a engineer want to become an engineer doctor but how it can happen one uh, one has to clear an examination every uh, different people has different goals so these goals can be accomplished trust in yourself these thought can be converted into reality okay so the first law the great law says that to receive happiness peace love and friendship one must be happy peaceful loving and a true friend okay so the qualities that you want you must have those qualities into you if i want happiness you must be happy i must ha- if i want happiness i have to be happy if i, I if i want a good friend i must act as a good friend okay so this is the first law i will revise all these laws at the end also with the help of ppt presentation the second law second law is the law of creation now if your surrounding don't reflect what you wish to see if your surrounding don't reflect what you wish to see first make the change internally in order to reach the external change You need to understand this. दो प्रकार के वातावरण है The first environment is the internal environment. The second environment is the external environment. Okay. Now, internal environment. I request the participants to please mute their screens. Okay. The internal environment is there and the external environment is there. Okay. So what? if you change your internal environment that reflect in the external environment jo cheeze jo ghatnaye hum apne andar changes laate hain wo ghatnaye ya wo cheeze bahar bhi change hoti hain if i i thought that i am very powerful i am very much uh, rich and i am very i have a very much ego within me main bahut ghavandi hu main bahut Uh, बहुत ज्यादा पैसे वाला हूं सो यू विल सी डेट यू विल ओनली सी दो थिंग्स इन द एक्सटर्नल एनवायरमेंट आल्सो। यदि आप दिन रात एक लग्जरी कार के बारे में सोचते रहेंगे सोचते रहेंगे या आप चाहेंगे कि मैं लग्जरी कार खरीदूं, 
then you will find that you will automatically see luxury cars in the road or you your mind will automatically get deviated towards those thing your eyes will start finding those uh, luxury cars where is audi this is mercedes and this is uh, uh, whatever etc car so your internal environment actually creates your external environment in the kannad uh, i request the participants to mute their screens okay so i am i am talking about the inter keshav sir keshav sir please unmute yourself sir the law of humility says if all one sees an enemy or a negative character trait yadi aap koi negative character trait dekhte hain then they are not and cannot be focused on a higher level of existence means if you willing to rise or grow up above your present state or condition you must leave the negative or the inferior things behind yadi aap upar ओके ओके सर ओके सर इफ यू अगर आप ऊपर अपने स्टेज से उठना चाहते हैं देन यू हैव टू बी यू हैव टू लीव बिहाइंड दोज नेगेटिव पीपल नेगेटिव स्टेजेस एंड द इंफीरियर स्टेजेस यदि मुझे मान लीजिए फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई वांट टू बिकम अ प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर सो आई हैव टू रीच एंड आई हैव टू टॉक एंड आई हैव टू change myself so that i can become professor i have to change my internal environment so that my external environment can be like that one assistant professor cannot become a professor until and unless he changed his attitude okay promotion wali baat alag hai but i am mainly talking about the personality okay this is the law of humility means if one want to rise above if one want to rise above the above his or her stage then he has to leave behind the negative and the past uh, experiences so that new experiences and new thoughts came in his or her mind yadi aap purani cheezon ko lekar saath mein chalenge to wo jo space hai aapke internal environment mein वो स्पेस के लिए वो जो जो आप चाहते हैं वो चीजें आ नहीं पाएंगी उस चीज को आपको खाली करना होगा सो डेट न्यू थिंग्स कैन कम इन योर इंटरनल एनवायरमेंट एंड डेट इंटरनल एनवायरमेंट इन टर्न चेंजेस योर एक्सटर्नल एनवायरमेंट ओके सो दिस इज द थर्ड लॉ डेट इज द लॉ ऑफ ह्यूमिलिटी फर्स्ट इज द ग्रेट लॉ सेकेंड इज द लॉ लॉ ऑफ क्रिएशन the third law is the humility and the fourth law i am heading towards the fourth law the law of growth when we change who and what we are within our hearts our lives follow the suit and change too it is basically linked towards to the previous uh to the previous uh, laws also means whatever changes you have done into your hearts that change changes will follow the way you want to go jo bhi aap apne bhitar changes karte hain wo cheeze aapke piche piche chalti hain this is the law of the growth if you if growth only happens when you change something and that change will follow behind okay so this is the fourth law now i am the first law now i am heading towards the fifth law the fifth law is the law of responsibility what is law of responsibility we mirror what surround us okay we mirror what surround us and what surround us mirrors us okay this is a universal truth we mirror what surround us and what surround us mirrors us one must take responsibility for what is in one's life aapke jeevan mein jo bhi ghatnaye hoti hain wo asal mein aapka hi mirror hai means aapka hi darpan hai aur jo bhi aapke 
चारों तरफ है वो आपका दर्पण है जो आप हैं जो आप है वो दर्पण है आपके चारों तरफ का मींस यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड इट वाइड वर्सा वी मिरर व्हाट सराउंड अस एंड व्हाट सराउंड अस मिरर्स अस अंडरस्टैंड एंड वन मस्ट टेक रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी फॉर एनीथिंग हैपनिंग इन वंस लाइफ मींस यदि मेरे साथ कोई घटना हो रही है दैट दैट इज एक्चुअली बिकॉज ऑफ माई परसेप्शन माई एनर्जीज डेट सराउंड मी और जो भी जो भी मैं हूं वो ही मेरे एक्सटर्नल एनवायरनमेंट में है ये पहले हम अपने लॉज में देख चुके हैं सो आई कांट ब्लेम एनी बडी दिस इज एक्चुअली रिलेटेड टू गिल्टी एंड ब्लेम पीपल ब्लेम मैनी मैनी इंडिविजुअल डेट ही और शी इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर दिस एक्शन एंड पीपल हैव अ गिल्ट ऑफ हिमसेल्फ डेट डेट ही और शी इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल बट एक्चुअली यूर यू आर एक्चुअली द मिरर वॉट सराउंड यू and you can't blame because anyways your energies and your actions has created those things that is surrounding you so you must take the responsibility of your own karmas of your own actions so this is the law of responsibility now i am heading towards the sixth law the sixth law is the law of connection okay so neither the first step nor the last step are of greater significance they are both needed to accomplish the task this is the law of connection it means that every step is connected you have to focus on each and every step whatever uh, wherever you go you can't say that my first step is not very much important i have uh, more focus on the last step or the third or the subsequent step you need to understand this my friends every step is connected means we i can't have less focus on my first step and more focus on the last step ye zyada tar un logo ke sath hota hai jo exam ki preparations kar rahe hain means they are more focusing on the just last day of your of their examination they are not focus on the initial step they has taken towards while going into the classroom so each and every step is uh, important and this connection is very much important for the growth of one individual now this is the law of connection now i am heading towards the seventh law the law of focus focus is very much important my friends if you have enough focus you can do whatever you want if our focus in on spiritual values it is not possible for us to have lower thoughts like greed or anger if you have focus or uh, to uh, go high up and to achieve a particular aim in your life you you uh, believe me friends you will automatically left behind all the inferior things like greed or anger okay so you must have to be focus on uh, to grow up means yadi mujhe life mein kuch bada banna hai to mujhe usme focus rakhna hoga so you will see that automatically the inferior things the negative thoughts the have a certain your life the mistakes you did you did in the past your past experiences uh, actually the real cause of suffering is the is our past experiences jo hum apne sath lekar chalte hain we must understand this we must consider our past experiences as a lesson okay so if we focus on higher things or higher spiritual values we automatically leave behind those uh, negative thoughts like greed or anger so this is the law this is the law of focus now i am heading towards the law of eighth law the law of giving and hospitality this is very much important while doing karmas or while doing actions if you have the feeling of giving if you have the feeling of hospitality if you have the feeling that this is not done by me this is done by the god or a creature and i am just a uh, i am just a way to help somebody then this feeling and this thought will basically make you understand that uh, you have to grow beyond this this will give you so much of responsibility and so much of satisfaction in yourself that 
that this thing is basically done by somebody else and i am just a so a way of doing this by thinking this yadi aap ye sochte hain ki ye jo karm hua hai ya mere dwara nahi hua hai ye ye mere ishwar ne ye karm mujhse karwaya hai इस भाव से यदि आप आगे बढ़ेंगे तो आप में घमंड की मात्रा कम होगी ओके सो इफ वन बिलीव समथिंग टू बी ट्रू देन समथिंग इन देयर लाइफ दे विल बी कॉल्ड अपॉन टू डेमोन्स्ट्रेट दे ट्रूथ यदि कोई व्यक्ति ये बोल रहा है कि मैं सच्चा हूं तो आप परिस्थिति ऐसी डेवलप होगी कि आपको वो सत्य को साबित करने के लिए कहा जाएगा अंडरस्टैंड if one believes something to be true then sometime in their life they will be called upon to demonstrate that truth okay so you have to be ready and this readiness this confidence will only come when you have certain amount of faith in your life if you have certain amount of your faith in your life then you will leave everything as to that faith you will not consider responsible you will not make you responsible for the result for the deed or for the actions if you have faith faith is very much important my friends if you have faith what kuch bhi kisi mein bhi aapki faith ho sakti hai yadi aap faith rakhenge aur aapke jitne bhi karm hai jaise ki kuch bhi aap kar rahe hain aur uska result ya uska jo actions hai us faith ko aap responsible thehrate hain ki maine nahi kiya hai ye faith ne mujhse karwaya hai तो बिलीव में एक सेटिस्फेक्शन ये तो आपके मन में जरूर आएगा कि इसके रिजल्ट के लिए भी वो ही रिस्पॉन्सिबल है वेदर दे आर गुड डीड्स और वेदर दे आर बैड डीड्स यू मस्ट है यू मस्ट टेक दिस रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी एंड एंड गिव दैट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टू टू यूर फेथ दैट दिस इज डन बाय बाय द गॉड फॉर एग्जाम्पल ओके सो यू आपके मन में घमंड नहीं आएगा कि ये कर्म मेरे द्वारा हुआ है जब आपके वेन यू थॉट दैट दिस इज नॉट डन बाय मी यू विल ऑटोमेटिकली हैव अ रिलीफ यू विल नॉट यू विल नॉट वरी और आप परेशान नहीं होंगे कि ये घटना मेरे द्वारा घट गई आप रिलैक्स होइए इन भगवत गीता इट इज क्लियरली सेज डेट जो स्थिर भाव है ना कि कर्म से प्रभावित हो रहा है और ना ही कर्म से ना ही कर्म को रिस्पॉन्सिबल ठहरा रहा है जो स्थिर भाव है विभिन्न परिस्थितियों में वो ही जो है कृष्ण को सबसे प्रिय है इसका मतलब ये है कि हमें किसी भी परिस्थिति में ना ही चीजों के लिए किसी को रिस्पॉन्सिबल ठहराना है और ना ही किसी को ब्लेम करना है और ना ही खुद को गिल्ट महसूस कराना है कि पर्टिकुलर थिंग इज डन बाय मी वेन यू हैव स्ट्रॉन्ग फेथ यू हैव टू जस्ट फोकस ऑन योर कर्मास योर एक्शन योर डीड्स डेट दीज कर्मास एंड दीज एक्शन आर इज ओनली माई जॉब मेरा सिर्फ कर्तव्य ही मेरा कर्म है एंड उसके जो रिजल्ट्स हैं उसके जो डीड्स हैं वो मेरे हाथ में नहीं है और मैं उनकी चिंता नहीं करूंगा ओके सो दिस इज द लॉ ऑफ गिविंग एंड हॉस्पिटलिटी यू मस्ट फॉलो दिस लॉ सो डेट यू कैन इजिली गेट रिड ऑफ दिस ईगो फियर एंड द एंड एंड द रिजल्ट ओके सो द Law. Uh, next law is the law of here and now. Actually, okay. O- old thoughts, old patterns of behavior, and old dreams prevent us from having new ones. We must understand this. This is the law of here and now. हम अपनी पुरानी परिस्थिति या पुराने experience या past experiences को यदि साथ में लेकर आ रहे हैं then they will affect our present conditions so this is the law that you have to follow the law of here and now i have to live in this particular uh, in this particular time period i must not think what will occur after this day and what had happened uh, in the past okay mujhe aane wale samay mein और जो बीत गया है जो समय उसकी चिंता नहीं है मैं सिर्फ अभी प्रेजेंट की कंडीशंस है उस पे फोकस कर रहा हूं एंड द नेक्स्ट लॉ इज द लॉ ऑफ चेंज मींस हिस्ट्री रिपीट्स इट्स सेल्फ अंटिल वी लर्न द लेसन डेट वी नीड टू चेंज अवर पाथ ओके मींस 
history will repeat himself the law of change if we do not change ourselves if we, if we do not change our attitude then the mistakes that we have done in the past will automatically kali reoccur wo cheeze phir se dohra di jayengi फिर से दोहरा दी जाएंगी यदि हम उस चीज पर ध्यान नहीं देंगे ओके सो सो वी मस्ट टेक केयर ऑफ दिस दैट वी मस्ट नॉट वी मस्ट वी मस्ट नॉट फोकस वी मस्ट नॉट फोकस ऑन द पास्ट थिंग्स वी मस्ट फोकस ऑन द प्रेजेंट थिंग okay so if we do not change ourselves the mistakes that we have done in the past will automatically kali reoccur in the present so i am heading towards the next law that is the law of patience and reward true joy comes from doing what one is supposed to be doing and knowing that the reward will come in its own time vastavik jo law vastavik jo reward hai वो यही है कि हम इतना पेशेंस और धीरज रखें अपने आप में कि रिजल्ट विल कम ऑटोमेटिकली एंड आई एम नॉट रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द टाइम पीरियड जब रिजल्ट जब इसका रिवॉर्ड आएगा जॉय विल कम ओनली वेन वन इज सपोज टू फोकस ऑन हिज और हर कर्म जॉय तभी आएगा जब हम अपने कर्म में फोकस होंगे एंड नॉट रिजल्ट ओरिएंटेड if we once got result oriented and reward oriented then our energies got shifted towards that thing okay once our energies got shifted towards the reward and the and the result then we have less focus on our uh, present karmas or the actions that we are doing so true joy comes from doing what one is supposed to be doing and knowing that the reward will come in its own time okay so i am heading towards uh, uh, the slides okay i am heading towards the slides okay so i have made you understand the real essence of or actions of karma now this is the definition of of karma i just want to revise the things that karma means your actions or your doing whatever one does says or think is actually a karma in buddhism the term karma is used specifically for those actions which bring which spring from the intention of an enlightened being means your uh, your thoughts your thought process will ultimately lead to your karma your chetna will ultimately lead to your karma so through meditation through positive attitude through satsang or good uh, companies you can actually work on your chetnas and that chetna will ultimately uh, result in your karmas and that karma will result in your results the, the will result in the rewards but you have no control in the rewards so you must focus on your chetna or we can say that your thought process okay so these are the laws of karma i have uh, told about this the great law that to receive happiness peace love and friendship one must be happy peaceful loving and a true friend okay so whatever you want in your life you have to you have to change in yourself the second law the law of creation if your surrounding don't don't reflect what you wish to see first make the change internally in order to reach the external environment apne aantrik cheezon par agar hum dhyan denge aur hum apne aantrik cheezon par agar kaam karenge so automatically in the external environment it will reflect this is the law of creation the third law is the law of humility if all one sees is an enemy or negative character then they are not and cannot be focused on a higher level or ex- existence okay if all one sees an enemy yadi hum hamesha negative character aur ek enemy par ya enemy keh sakte hain ya negative character hi keh sakte hain then one cannot rise above that level we have to leave behind those negative character if we want to rise okay 
then we have the law of growth when we change who and what we are within our hearts our lives follow the suit and the change too this is very deep when we change who and what we are jab hum apne aap mein change laate hain ki hum kaun hain hum apne bheetar apne hriday mein ye change laate hain our lives follow the suit and change too that thing hamara jo jeevan ka jo uh, energy se the vibrations will also change according to that so i uh, i want to uh, say to my dear friends the participants that kripya is cheez पे ध्यान रखें कि जो भी चेंजेस आप अपने भीतर ला रहे हैं उस पे ध्यान दें जो भी आप चेंजेस लाएंगे वो ही आपकी लाइफ में आगे फॉलो होगा सो so, ये आपके ऊपर है कि आप कैसे उसको चेंजेस ला सकते हैं मैं चेंजेस पे नहीं जाऊंगा क्योंकि कभी सभी व्यक्ति अपने हिसाब से चीजें चेंज करते हैं द फिफ्थ लॉ द लॉ ऑफ रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी वी मस्ट टेक द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी वी मिरर वॉट सराउंड एंड वॉट सराउंड दिस इज अवर्सल ट्रूथ ओके so it is very much important that we can't blame anybody it is very much important that we have no guilt for uh, doing something because whatever we are is actually our the our external environment ye our internal environment actually decides the external environment this is the law of responsibility then the law of connection connection means every step is connected one step is connected to another step and it is very much important that we must must focus on each and every step neither the first step nor the last are of greater significance they are both needed to accomplish the task we we can't say that this is important this is not important for making a great human being every step every member of his family every teacher who has taught him or her is important this is the law of connection this is the thing that is connected okay so by this slide i just want to tell you that do not uh, consider anything very much inferior ki ye zaruri nahi hai ye chhota hai every single step every single human being every single uh, person is actually helping you and you must not forget the contribution made by him or her okay this is the law of connection everything is connected then the law of focus this is very much important friends jaise ki maine aapko ek kahani sunayi thi ki aap kaise ek kalpavraksh ban sakte hain kalpavraksh means wishing tree whatever you want actually happens this is the law of attraction yahi to law of attraction hai aap jo cheez attract kar rahe hain it has to happen because you have sufficient focus your body energies your mind your actions if go in particular direction with a particular vibration and energy it has to happen you just need sufficient amount of focus if our focus man lijiye on spiritual values it is not possible for us to have lower thoughts like greed or anger it automatically leave behind the negative uh, attitudes if we focus on the spiritual values likewise if we focus on the uh, on our aim for the students who are uh, listening this yadi aap apne laksh par dhyan de rahe hain to automatically you will see that jo baki cheeze hain jo baki cheeze hain jo aapko disturb kar rahi hain they will automatically lift left behind okay aap aap apne laksh se isliye dur hote hain kyunki aap laksh se focus kam kar dete hain laksh mein focus kam kar dete hain जब आपके लक्ष्य में फोकस होगा तो ऑटोमेटिकली आपकी परेशानियां दूर होंगी और जब आप अपने लक्ष्य से अपने लक्ष्य से फोकस दूर करेंगे तो परेशानियां विल ग्रो अप अंडरस्टैंड दिस सो फॉर फॉर अचीविंग एनीथिंग इन योर लाइफ यू मस्ट हैव सफिशिएंट अमाउंट ऑफ फोकस सो दैट द अदर थिंग विल ऑटोमेटिकली सप्रेस लाइक इन दिस स्लाइड आई हैव एक्सप्लेन दैट इफ अवर फोकस इन ऑन द स्पिरिचुअल वैल्यूज it is not possible to have lower thoughts like greed or anger this is a law when i say law law means it has to happen okay the law of giving and hospitality ye bahut hi badhiya law hai ye actually mein bhagavad gita mein shri krishna ne jo kaha hai usko ye wo verify karta hai ki if we have the feeling of nishkam karma bhav when i say nishkam karma bhava means without any reward 
विदाउट द थॉट ऑफ द रिवॉर्ड्स विदाउट द थॉट ऑफ द रिजल्ट उसके उसको फिक्र किए बिना ही मैं अपने कर्म में लगा हुआ हूँ मैं अपने कर्तव्य में लगा हुआ हूँ with the law of giving and hospitality that whatever i am doing in in my life is actually for the bel- welfare of the others then i have satisfaction in my life if one believes something to be true then something in their life they will be called upon to demonstrate the truth understand yadi aap apne jeevan mein koi cheez ko satya mante hain to paristhitiyan aap के सामने ऐसी बन जाएंगी कि आपको उस सत्य को प्रूव करना पड़ेगा अंडरस्टैंड सो द लॉ ऑफ गिविंग एंड हॉस्पिटलिटी इज बेस्ट रिगार्डिंग दिस इफ यू हैव द फीलिंग दैट द लॉ ऑफ गिविंग एंड हॉस्पिटलिटी इज देयर इन माय माइंड देन यू विल नेवर हैव द फियर दैट कि ये गलती मेरे से हो गई या ये चीज मेरे से नहीं हो पाई या ये पर्टिकुलर व्यक्ति मेरे कारण वहां पर पहुंचाए अंडरस्टैंड यू मस्ट हैव द फीलिंग दैट मैं उसके भले के लिए ही ये कर रहा हूँ यू मस्ट हैव द फीलिंग डेट मैं सिर्फ अपने कर्तव्य कर रहा हूँ और यदि उसका भला हो रहा है तो उसके लिए मैं रिस्पॉन्सिबल नहीं हूँ इफ यू कंसिडर योर सेल्फ रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द रिजल्ट यू मस्ट हैव ईगो आपके मन में ईगो तो आना ही है क्योंकि फिर यू विल सीक फॉर द बेनिफिट फ्रॉम हिम और हर फिर आप उसके बदले में कुछ मांगने का प्रयास करेंगे बट यू मस्ट हैव द फीलिंग ऑफ हॉस्पिटलिटी एंड गिविंग so that the ego and the negative thoughts will not come in your mind now cons- now for uh, moving towards the next law the law of here and now this law of karma is very much important means what is happening in the present world is people are very much worried what they have done in their past they are taking the past experiences and they are doing things right now now what is happening with the past experiences they are actually contaminating their present they are not giving their 100% because they have uh, they are wasting their energies in the past experiences so old thoughts old patterns of behavior and old dreams prevent us from having the new ones this is very, very much important my friends so you have to forgive all those things consider it a dream consider it was a dream and start your journey with the law of here and now i am here and we have to do the things now so that old thoughts and old patterns of behavior should not con- contaminate uh, contaminate your present time the law of change you need to understand this law of karma means history repeats itself until we learn the lessons that we need to change our path understand history will repeat जो आपने कर्म किया है यदि आपने उससे कुछ सीखा नहीं है और उससे आपने कुछ बदलाव नहीं किए हैं तो वो चीज वापस होनी ही है बिकॉज गॉड विल क्रिएट सच सिचुएशन ईश्वर अपने आप में ऐसी कंडीशंस क्रिएट कर देता है दैट यू शुड लर्न ही इज ऑलवेज योर फ्रेंड वो सिर्फ आपका सखा है सबसे अच्छा मित्र है जो आपको सिखाने का प्रयास कर रहा है कि आप अपने भीतर चेंजेस ला रहे हैं और उस चेंजेस से ही आप आगे बढ़ रहे हैं यदि आप चेंजेस समय के साथ नहीं ला रहे हैं तो यू आर बाउंड टू रिपीट द दो थिंग्स वो कोई भी चीज हो सकती है चाहे अच्छी चीज हो सकती है चाहे बुरी चीज हो सकती है यू आर बाउंड टू टू रिपीट दो मिस्टेक्स इन यूर लाइफ सो हिस्ट्री रिपीट इट सेल्फ अंटिल वी लर्न द लेसन डेट वी नीड टू चेंज अवर पाथ वी नीड टू चेंज अवर पाथ एक्चुअली अदरवाइज द हिस्ट्री विल रिपीट इट सेल्फ अंडरस्टैंड सो आई एम मूविंग टूवर्ड्स the next law the law of patience and reward this is the same law that we have shown about the scene about related to bhagavad gita that we must not worry about the reward we must have the patience the true joy comes from doing what one is supposed to be doing and knowing that the reward will come in its own time understand rewards are not in your hands they will automatically come when they have to come you can't blame anybody that i maine mere ko ye nahi mila ya mere ko ye milna chahiye tha ya maine itni mehnat kari aur phir bhi ye nahi mila actually that is not in your hands ya phir kai log shikayat ye karte hain ki logon ne unka haq ya unka hissa le liya ya phir he or she is responsible for uh, my suffering actually this is not 100% true 
the rewards whatever rewards it is whatever reward it is the, the bad rewards or the good rewards it is not in your hand understand and the true joy aapko santushti aur khushi tabhi hogi jab aap tak karm aur kartavya par sthir hai bina is chinta ke ki reward kya hai bina is chinta ke ki aap kya kar rahe hain bina kya aap jo kar rahe hain uske liye kaun responsible hai आप अपने कर्म क्षेत्र में स्थिर हैं और आपने कर्तव्यों का पालन कर रहे हैं दिस इज द बेस्ट थिंग द ट्रू जॉय कम्स फ्रॉम डूइंग व्हाट वन इज सपोज टू बी डूइंग एंड नोइंग दैट द रिवॉर्ड विल कम इन इट्स ओन टाइम ओके नाउ द ट्वेल्थ लॉ द लॉ ऑफ सिग्निफिकेंस एंड इंस्पिरेशन वन गेट्स बैक फ्रॉम समथिंग वॉट एवर दे पुट इन इट अंडरस्टैंड एंड एवरी पर्सनल कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इज ऑल्सो अ कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टू द होल Now this is very much important law because लोग ये कह रहे हैं कि particular चीज के लिए सिर्फ मैं important हूँ and it is not true means you are just doing a simple contribution to the creation that God has built nature has its own rules and nature is going in its own frequency he his he she is working in its own way and आप जो भी कर रहे हैं आप जो भी चीजें डाल रहे हैं आप जो भी कर्म कर रहे हैं वन गेट्स बैक फ्रॉम समथिंग वॉट एवर दे पुट इन टू इट यू विल गेट वॉट एवर यू गिव दिस इज द लॉ यू मस्ट नॉट कंसिडर योर सेल्फ डेट दिस इज हैपनिंग बिकॉज ऑफ मी ओनली एंड आई एम ओनली रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर दिस अंडरस्टैंड एवरी पर्सनल कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इज ऑल्सो अ कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टू द होल इफ यू आर contributing towards the well-being of yourself actually you are also the part of the great nature and the great creation if you are uplifting yourself automatically you are uplifting the whole uh, creation or the universe or the nature so the the significance is there for yourself also and for others also do not have that ego and do not have the guilt that i have done this thing for myself do not have this guilt in yourself do not have the ego in yourself that i have done this thing and he or she get benefited only because of me this ego has not to be there you must you must complete you must uh, what we can say sthir on your karmas stable on your karmas do not get over excited do not get affected by your your karmas just be a part of the karma like the lotus flower you have seen the flower lotus kamal ka phool wo kichad mein rehta hai he aur wo jo hai na hi kichad se fark apne aap mein padta hai usme aur na hi wo react karta hai kichad ko jab aap us kamal ke phool ko bahar nikalte hain it is as it is us pe kichad ka koi koi bhi astitv nahi dikhega it means wo us कर्म में रहकर भी कर्म से अफेक्टेड नहीं है सो दिस इज नोन एज स्थिर भाव स्थिर भाव या स्थिर मन इसी को कहेंगे स्टेबल माइंड दैट ही वन शुड नॉट एफेक्ट फ्रॉम हिस कर्मा और हिस डूइंग ही शुड बी फोकस्ड ही शुड ही और शी शुड बी फोकस्ड इनफ टू डू हिज जॉब विथ मोस्ट सिंसियरिटी विथ अटमोस्ट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन विथआउट नोइंग अबाउट worrying or knowing about the result without worrying about the causes the uh, what we can say uh, the uh, mistakes he, he or she has done actually everything is is the part of the big game so one gets back from something whatever they put into it and every personal contribution is also a contribution to the whole whatever you do actually you must have the positive attitude whatever you do whatever you thinks you do actually you are contributing to the uh, in making the universe a complete universe a nature made by the god so you must not have the guilt or the ego you must be stable in yourself so that so that you your life is happy your life is pleasant and you experience the true existence and true nature with all its dynamism okay so worrying having guilt having ego it will always affect your karma and your main focus should be to purify and to accelerate the quality of your karmas 
because karma yogi is also a part to attain moksha or we can say peaceful life understand now this is the chap in chapter 247 247 of bhagavad gita karmanne vadhikaraste ma phaleshu kadachana ma karma phal hetu bhurva te sangots karmani understand so i have maine pehle hi ye cheez aapko batati hai ki karm ke mein nishkam karm bhav hi sab kuch hai the main thing is the nishkam karm bhav once we have the feeling of nishkam karm bhav your right is in the action only never to the fruits of action let not the fruits of the action the favorable outcome be your motive not let your attachment to be be to in action understand tera karm karne mein hi adhikar hai uske phalon mein kabhi nahi isliye tu karmon ke phal hetu mat ho tatha teri karm na karne mein bhi asakti na ho it means that you are stable enough understand you are stable enough and you are not affected by your karma so this is my last slide and i hope all the participants has uh, got benefit from this uh, session uh, this session is short i uh, only one hour i have taken this maine sirf ye session liya hai ek ghante ke liye and uh, mera session complete ho chuka hai hope this session and these slides ya aapke kuch to uh, kaam aayengi aur aapke jeevan mein kuch fark laayengi you must understand the values and the uh, real real values of your karmas understand so your karmas will decide whether uh, you will succeed in your life or not your karmas will decide uh, where you go so be focus on your karmas don't contaminate don't uh, fill it with negative thoughts have a positive attitude attitude in your life so that your karma will be very much stable very much focused and automatically you will see that things will be very good thank you so much thank you so much sir it was a great session uh, and i hope our participants have also you. enjoyed a lot and they have learned a lot of things about karma uh, are there any questions from participants if there are you can unmute yourself and ask the questions रिजल्ट अंडरस्टैंड यू आर फोकसिंग मोर ऑन द थिंग्स that you want you must have focus enough on what you have to do if you agar aap phal ke phal mein chinta nahi karenge phal ke bare mein nahi sochenge to phal aapko chintit nahi karega phal hi hai karm ka phal hi aapko chintit karta hai aur karm ke phal se hi aap pareshan hote hain aap apne karm mein dhyan denge to baki sabhi cheeze side ho hote jayenge hope this will help thank you so much sir uh, any other question from a participant if you have either you can write in the chat box and we will discuss on your behalf uh welcome sonam welcome reena welcome dr manoj welcome yes, hamant nagar ji yes i think sir your session was really awesome and all of our participants have learned so much of things so on behalf i would like to conclude the session for our participants the first thing you told us about is what about what how we should manage our thinking because our thinking is something which manages our action and our actions is something which decides the, the result of our actions so it is the thinking yes. which is the ultimate cause of all the all our karma yes. so we must manage our thinking efficiently that and after why, that, that you, is why yes that is why you need tools that can modulate your thinking process that tools are meditation that tools are uh, uh, your uh, 
books your guide guide your teacher these tools help your environment uh, to change and that change in the environment ultimately change your thought process very well said sir uh, and you also taught us about the laws of karma i would you very well concluded but i would also like to conclude on my behalf that okay. the various laws of karma which you told us these are very efficient in managing our thoughts and our actions so i would like just briefly like to describe about that the first one you told us is the great law of karma which is to receive what we receive is what we what we do is what we receive the basics are of that the second law is the law of creation which you told us about the third law you told us about is the law of humanity the fourth law was the law of growth that is we mirror what we are what we surround ourselves with the sixth law which you told us about is the law of connection which means that every step of ours is connected whatever we are facing whether negative whether positive somehow it is connected to our growth or somewhat it will definitely lead to our overall growth this is the sixth law you told us about the seventh law was the law of focus that we must always focus on the right things हम जिन भी चीजों पर फोकस करते हैं वही हमारे सामने प्रकट रूप से होती हैं और अगर हम सही चीजों पर फोकस करेंगे तो सही चीजें ही हमारे साथ होंगी और हम अगर स्पिरिचुअलिटी पे तरफ फोकस करेंगे तो वही हमारी लाइफ में उतरेगा लेकिन अगर हम नेगेटिव चीजों पर जाते हैं तो वही हमारी लाइफ में भी होगा द एट लॉ यू टोल्ड एस वॉज द लॉ ऑफ गिविंग एंड हॉस्पिटैलिटी एज टोल्ड बाय एज डिस्क्राइब बाई श्री कृष्णा द नाइन्थ लॉ वॉज द लॉ ऑफ हेयर एंड नाउ दैट इज हमें पुरानी चीजों को छोड़कर आगे बढ़ना चाहिए बिकॉज द ओल्डर थिंग्स आर समथिंग विच हैव बीन विच हैव बीन कंडक्टेड इन द पास्ट विच आर ऑलरेडी गॉन सो वी मस्ट ऑलवेज फोकस अबाउट वट इज अबाउट टू कम द टेंथ लॉ वॉज द लॉ ऑफ चेंज द इलेवेंथ लॉ वॉज द लॉ ऑफ पेशेंस एंड रिवॉर्ड एंड द ट्वेल्थ लॉ वॉज द लॉ ऑफ सिग्निफिकेंस एंड इंस्पिरेशन आई होप ऑल आर पार्टिसिपेंट्स हैव वेरी वेल अंडरस्टूड दिस लॉस एंड इट वॉज रियली अ ग्रेट सेशन सर thank you so much sir thank you thank you thank you vicky namaskar sir on behalf of sirt pharmacy and sage group uh, i would like to present before you a token of appreciation yes. uh, in the form of the certificate sir which is displayed on your screen so please accept okay. this for thank your sincere you so efforts thank you so much i am very thank much thank you so much glad and it's my pleasure to work with you all thank you namaskar thank you so much sir uh, sir our director sir dr suren jain sir is also with us uh, now i would like to request our director sir okay. to please say okay. a few words so please thank you vicky uh, bahut bahut dhanyawad kesar sir for giving a very excellent talk on uh, real mystery of uh, our actions how karma uh, re- reflects and uh, retaliate to ourselves kaise hamare karm hamare upar hi acche karm hame acha banate hain aur acche se hame aage bad tarakki dete hain aur kaise bure karm hame buri taraf le jate hain bahut bahut dhanyawad sir the way you explained everything we have not thought that the things are going on in and uh, this manner and probably all will uh, learn all these 10 laws that you have explained regarding karma and uh, thank you thank you very much for being here with your thoughts and with your uh, knowledge and uh, that you share us with our participants on this short term training program bahut bahut dhanyawad sir pleasure sir pleasure sir now i invite sri dr saurabh kumar he is a well known pediatrician and not only he is a good doctor and he is also a spiritual person so he is a art of living very senior teacher and now he will be leading into meditation welcome sarab sir hello am i audible yes sir audible sir okay so good afternoon thank you dr nilesh for kind introduction so we will do a short meditation so before going meditation we'll do light yoga very light yoga we'll just uh, shake our hands just shake hand your hands 
Yes. Remove all your dust from your body. Just turn your neck to the right. And then left. One more time. To the right. And again left. Now shrug your shoulder, just touch your shoulder to the ear, shrug, shrug, shrug and relax, one more time, shrug your shoulder and relax, hold your hands, just put in front of body mm -hmm. and stretch our body and just move left and right. Very nice. And one more time, we'll shake our hands and relax. Now we'll close our eyes. Just close your eyes. Sit comfortably and easily. Spine erect. Take a deep breath in. Take one more deep breath in and let go slowly. Remember your weight of the body, whether it is a 50 kg, 60 kg, 70 kg. Take one more deep breath in and put your weight on the chair or whatever things you are sitting and relax your whole body. And to the noises around you. Whatever noises are coming, just listen to them. And accept them. Be in harmony with the environment. Now aware of your physical body. This is the beautiful gift given by God. Respect your body. Honor your body. Become aware of your right foot. Knee joint and thigh. Now, a 
rear of your left foot. Left knee. Left thigh. Now, aware of your stomach, abdomen region. Now, aware of your chest area. Aware of your right hand. And left hand. Aware of your neck area. Face. And back. Aware of the whole body. Apna pura dhyan, apne pure shadir par le jayen. Now take a deep breath in. And let go. And relax your whole body. Become aware of your thoughts. Whether good thoughts or bad thoughts. Let them come. Just accept them. Do not register any thoughts. Now you are in harmony with your thoughts. Take a deep breath in and let go. Now, aware of your feelings, good feelings or bad feelings. Just accept them. in harmony with your feelings. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in and let go. You are loved and peace. love and peace. Relax your whole body. And repose in yourself. And let go and relax your whole body. Now, a 
feeling of your feelings. Mm -hmm. शरीर को और ढीला करते जाएं। नाउ अवेयर ऑफ योर थॉट्स of your surroundings. And be aware of your body. Very slowly and gradually, whenever you feel cold, mm -hmm. you can open your eyes. So how was meditation? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Saurav. So just want to convey two golden rules of meditation. Somebody was telling that in program mein, there is the participant does not go into meditation. So there are two golden rules of meditation. First is, if the meditation is doing the meditation, who is guiding the meditation, if he is a regular meditation, karta hai, if he is a regular meditator, then we all will definitely go into meditation. So it depends upon the जो कराने वाला है अगर वो regular meditation करता है he does does a sadhana he do regular meditation and he regularly goes into deep inside my samadhi or meditation then definitely all will go in deep meditation and second golden rule is we don't have to hear the instruction क्या बोल रहा है it is not important to hear हाँ ठीक है बस जैसा गाना सुनते हैं music सुनते हैं बस music में हम कान लगा ले we don't have to stress के 
uh, we have to stress for meditation and dr sarav is also very 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 expert if you want to ask any question regarding meditation mind management he is very well known pediatrician so he knows how to deal with the child actually koi mere se pooch raha tha ki bacche agar aisa kare to kaise hoga <laughs> we, can, we can ask dr sarav he can answer well ki how to deal with the child that is a separate <laughs> so, uh, discussion for them thank you sir okay presentation okay. this thank time only we are all feeling relaxed mentally as well as physically by the session thank you so much sir welcome great thank you sir welcome i would like to brief all our audience about our next session for to tomorrow our tomorrow session will be starting sharp at 10 am tomorrow and all the three speakers will be there i am sharing the schedule for tomorrow so participants may do it on their screen the session will be conducted by The session will be conducted by Dr. Bhavya at from 10 a.m. morning. Ms. Astha from 12 p.m. in the morning, and lecture three will be conducted by Dr. Recha from 2:30 p.m. onwards. So it's my humble request to all the participants, please, as you are attentive today, please join us tomorrow again, and we will have great session as we had today, and it was great learning with all of you. we hope your participation will be there as it was today thank you so much all the participants for joining us and also for today i would also like to thank nilesh jain sir and nilesh sir for effectively conducting the sessions i would also like to thank our speaker dr keshav kumar sir and also like to thank dr suren jain sir director of sit pharmacy for organizing such a great session i hope we will meet again tomorrow with such a great session on this aict sponsored one week short term training program i wish good luck to all the participants that you will learn something great with this one week program hope to meet you again tomorrow thank you so much uh, the feedback links will be shared to your mail ids you will get it by today thank you so much all the participants i request that all participants please fill the feedback it will be helpful for us to carry out all these sessions and your feedback is very essential for us so that we could modify or your demands will be reached will reach to us through the friendly feedback thank you so much participants for joining us it was a great session thank you thank you so much uh, have a good day